Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. To continue our series of pressure vessel design and calculation, today I would like to share with you a video to talk about how to define the head thickness of the pressure vessel, specifically the ellipsoidal head 2 to 1. So first of all, I'll quickly talk about what is the ellipsoidal head before we jump into detail of our calculation. In the pressure vessel, we have diverse types of head like hemispherical head, torus spherical head, conical head, and ellipsoidal head I'm talking today. So in order to define the dimension of the ellipsoidal head, the inside diameter of the shell must be clarified. In consequence, the other dimension will be determined based on it. For example, the inside depth of the head would be one fourth of the inside diameter, and the knuckle radius is equal 0 0.17 inside diameter, and the crown radius equals 0 0.9 inside diameter of the shell. So let's talk about our calculation. First, I define the internal desired pressure. This value is the same as the internal design pressure we use in the shell thickness calculation and it would be 2 MPa. You can check UG27 section A division 1 for more, for more information. The next parameter is about the maximum allowable stretch. For this one, we need to define the material for the head. So I select carbon steel blade. SA516 grade 70 and the, and the design temperature is about 100 degrees Celsius. So we check the session 8 division 1 and session 2 part D. Based on these two information, we can get the maximum allowable stress for this case is equal 138 megapascal. The next thing is about the design temperature. So I, de I define here is about 100 degrees Celsius. And the minimum design metal temperature is minus 20 Celsius degrees. You can refer to Session A Division 1 UCS 66 for more information. I will also create another video to talk about this value how to define the minimal design metal temperature next parameter is about choice efficiency e equal one this factor is about the welded junction between different plates we use to fabricate the head and the next parameter is about corrosion allowance so our pressure vessel is designed to hold the water gas, oil, or chemicals, and over its lifetime, this kind of liquid can cause the corrosion on the inner surface of the vessel, and additionally, the external factors like water rain oxidation can potentially corrode the outer surface. So in order to encounter uh, for this problem, we set a corrosion low one equal 2 mm for this kind. Next is about the inside diameter. This one is equal to the inside diameter we calculate in the shell thickness. So D in must be equal to 2000 mm or equal to 2, 2, 2 meter. And the next one is about the inside radius. It would be a half of the inside diameter, it equals 1000 mm. Place tolerance is the difference between the actual thickness of the steel blade which we used for fabricating the head and the design thickness. So according to UG16, uh, it would be smaller than 2.3 mm or 6 
percent of the design thickness so in this case it equals 0 0.3 millimeters the next one is about inside depth this value is equal one fourth of the inside diameter of the head skirt so in this case one fourth inside diameter is equal 500 millimeters and the k factor is the relation between the inside diameter and the inside depth so based on division 1 page 377 we have this equation and the value for this k factor is about 1 the next thing we need to calculate is, is the minimum required thickness of the head so based on UG16 this value must be equal 2.3 millimeter. This is the minimum value of thickness we use for head in the compressed air surface, steam surface, or water surface, and is exclusive of any corrosion allowance. So we have 2.5 is the value for minimum required thickness based on UG16. Required thickness TR equals 16.51 mm based on equation 1 for division 1 page 377. So this required thickness is the relation of the internal design pressure, the diameter, the inside diameter of the head, K factor, maximum allowable stress, joy efficiency, and also the corrosion allowance nominal thickness Tn equal 18 millimeters so this nominal thickness is based on the required thickness we have calculated here and the commercial standard steel blade thickness like in the on the market uh, we have some available thickness like 14, 16, 18, or 20 millimeters. So we must select the closest value to our required thickness we have calculated here. So I select 18 is the final value for the nominal thickness. And the final one we need to define is finished thickness. So this value is easy obtain by minus the nominal thickness for the required thickness sorry minus the nominal thickness for the place tolerance Tn minus Tpt so it's equal 18 minus 0 0.3 is equal 17.7 millimeters and finally we need to check whether our design is safe or not so yes mean our design is safe because TF the finished thickness is larger than the required thickness in order to help you understand many different thicknesses I made the figure here to show all of the thicknesses we need to calculate in this case so we have here is the nominal thickness, finished thickness, required thickness, and the place tolerance. It's easy to know that the required thickness is the smallest one here, and the nominal thickness is the biggest one here. So we use nominal thickness minus the place tolerance is equal the finished thickness, then we compare the finished thickness and the required thickness to make sure that the finished thickness is always larger than the required thickness so in that case our design is safe so this is the end of my video thank you for watching please comment below if you have any question and see you in the next videos